Go on, what number's that? Is it towards the front or towards the back? No, towards the back. Towards uh, the back. It's, uh, Which number? 446. 446? Four, four, six. Uh, four, four, six? Yeah. That's the 446. 446, four, yeah. 44, four, so towards the front? No, the back. Page 446. No, 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 no. Uh, what what surah? Surah, 37. 37. 37. Okay. Surah 37. Yeah. What, what ayah, please? Uh, uh, 104. 104. Okay, so let's read it. So, what, what I asked you, if you remember, where does the Quran say that Ishmael was the son of the sacrifice? So let's see if it says Ishmael. Okay, so it says, We called out to him, O Abraham, thou hast already fulfilled the vision, thus indeed do we reward those who do right. For this was obviously a trial, and we ransomed him with a momentous sacrifice, and we left this blessing for him among the generations to come in later times. Peace and salutations to Abraham. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. So that doesn't say Ishmael, does it? No. Right. What would you say if I told you that the Quran doesn't say Ishmael was the son of the sacrifice anywhere? Yes, so what? Right. Yeah, but we it, have Sunnah. Yes, you have Sunnah. It's not only, it's not only Quran. Right, yes, I know you do. Yeah. You have Sunnah. Yeah. Right, but your hadiths are dated to 200 years after the Prophet Muhammad. No, it's not. Yes, they are. No, it's not. Okay, when, what? You know Tawatu. When, when, you know Tawatu. What, 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 yes. Yeah, you know Tawatu. Yeah, yeah, they are written yeah, in... It's not 200 years after. They are in compilations. Like like the Bible was written four hundred centuries after. No, no, that's and changing that's the, the subject. The, and that was that was no. the latest. That's changing the subject. That that's changing the subject. So that's not the same. That's not the same. So no, that's changing the subject. In your yeah, it's just not true. When, 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 one second. On one second. So we can learn. Let's let's the, all try. The that, uh, Sorry. Can we all try to have a? Can we all try to have one conversation? Until now. No, no, they wrote it until now. It's still. Sorry. Sorry. Let's try to have a. Let's try a. Michael is just using this to divert. He's using okay, this to divert. Okay, right? Because he knows that when was Sahih al Bukhari written? Well, it was written after 200 years. But that, Two, there you no, go. Just a minute, just a minute. When was Sahih al Muslim written? Just a minute. Just when was Sahih al Muslim written? Have you, have you seen how it is written? Yes, I've seen have how you it seen is the written. What's what it is? The, the, one second. The, the compilation. It, 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 it's from someone, from someone, from someone, from That's someone. That's just a list of names. Just a minute. That's just a list of names. Just a minute. Have you, no, no, right. Just but if I learn a list of names, yeah. right? If who I learn trust? a list of names. Who one second. Who, who trust? Who trust? Yeah. Shall, we, shall we try to have a conversation yeah. rather than yeah. talking yeah. over one another? Yeah. Shall we try to have a conversation sure yeah. rather than talking yeah. over yeah. one another? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yeah. to do that means that I talk, you listen. You talk, I listen. And that's how Speaker's Corner works. If we start talking over one another, it becomes an argument. Okay? Right? So, this is, this is an example of bad manners. Don't be like him. Right? So, let, let's just think about this. The, the hadith collections that you recite, like Sahih al-Bukhari, right? they, they, they were born in a milieu when one Islamic empire overthrew another Islamic empire. Yes. When the Abbasids overthrew the Umayyads, right? Yes. And in that context, Muslims were making, Muslims of different political camps were making up hadiths to justify their political positions. Every hadith. That's right. Every hadith. Yes, that's a fact. No, no, that's no, no, that is a fact. No, 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 no. The fact that you don't know Islamic history is not my problem. No, no, so, I, I so actually hadith. Islamic history. Then you should know that that is a fact. History, I not study Dua and Sharia at the same right. time as well. Right, great. So, so I do know very yeah. well about this. So you're I mean, saying that no hadiths were ever made up? There are a lot of hadiths yeah, of course, were made up. Yeah, thank you, great. So yeah, there were a lot of hadiths, are, hadiths like, were made up. Brilliant, we've established that. The majority of the hadiths are made up are known that they are made up. And they are known that they are made up. Great. Look, it's the most... One minute, I will speak and then you will talk. Okay. Yeah, but you just didn't, I'll just point out, you did interrupt me. Yeah, but that's a conversation. No, no okay, so, okay, so, I will so, not interrupt you after. Oh, you right. can continue. So let me finish my point okay. without interruption yes. and then I'll listen to you. Sure. Okay? Don't be rude like this, man. Don't be rude like that, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 the point is, the point is, when the Abbasids overthrew the Umayyads, yes. 
when the Shia were trying to justify their political Just position. Let me finish. They are interrupting again. They are interrupting again. They are just correcting you. You're interrupting again. Sorry. Okay, so you won't complain when I interrupt you, will you? That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad you will not complain. I'm glad you will not complain. I'm glad you won't complain when I interrupt you. I'm glad you won't complain when you interrupt you. Because you didn't even hear what I had to say. No, I heard you. What did I say? You said when like Shia to justify what they did. No, what you see, you didn't listen because you didn't okay. finish the sentence. Because that wasn't what I was going to say. So, no, I'm going to. It's, okay. But the thing is, I would get through my points quicker if you interrupt less. Okay. Yeah, and then you're able to make a point. That's how a conversation works. So, as well as the Umiyads and the Abbasids each trying to justify their own political position, you had other groups like the Shia um, trying to justify their theology of the Imanate, the Imanate. And they created their own hadiths and their own canon of hadiths by rejecting the ones by Aisha. And, and the reality is, yeah, this camera's over there. Everybody gets filmed around here. <laughs> so my point is to you, we know that hadiths were being generated to justify different positions. So if you then cotton on that someone accepts this list of names as people did, they learn, oh, this list of names is reliable. In that context, it's very easy to just make up a hadith that sounds good and then stick that list of names that you know it's people like accept this. in it. Go on, explain why it's not like that. Okay, this, okay, firstly, I do understand where you're coming from in that sense. It's like, to be able uh, to make a judgment on that, you need to study the Alm of Hadith. Yeah. Okay? You have a lot of things going on in there, like from Tawatur, the Jarh al Ta'deel, yep. to the science of, of men, like yes. Amr Rijal as well. Yes. All of these things. When you do that in a combination, uh, and years and years and studying, yeah. and while studying a lot of hadiths, I'm yeah. seeing also the references, uh, at that point you can make a judgment out towards that. Right. The thing is, y yes, there are some made up hadiths, and, and that's, we know that that's for sure. We, yeah. all, we, know, like, we know for a fact the only book that wasn't modified or changed or nothing added to yeah. is Quran, and we do believe in that. Now, I don't want to get into a side argument about the different versions of the Quran. Which different versions? Even but but it's, that's a side argument. It's a side argument. It's a side argument. Same, but it's a side argument. There are different versions of the Quran. No, it's this Quran. That's just not true. That's just not true. That's just not true. But it is a side argument. That is a side argument. I want to stick to about Ishmael. No, that's just not true. We've seen different versions of the Quran. It doesn't matter. I've seen it with my own eyes. It doesn't matter what you say. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen them as well. And I know what you're coming from and that point. Yeah. But they are not different versions. No, it's not one version. There's several different versions of the Quran. It changes. It changes. That's the key word. Just a minute. Just a word between one verse and another Thank you. So they are changes. Great. We've established that there's changes. Brilliant. Just a minute. That's a side issue. No, no, not to One moment. One moment. Take this point. Yeah. One moment. No, I, I was one trying moment. to this move moment. past this one point. Moment. I was trying to move. One I was trying to move past this yes. point. I said it was a. It the was not change, the issue I wanted to talk about. The only small changes was yeah. if you know any Arabic, if you speak Arabic. No, I want to talk about Ishmael. Just I don't want to talk about. I will come Quran. back, but you just yeah. went just on and one and one. No, no, you said you said the Quran has never been changed. You brought that. It's never been changed. It's never been changed. If that's not true, one moment. It's not true. Compare compare the modern compare this Quran to your earliest texts of the Quran. They're different. You can. They're not the same. Can. They're not the you same. Go and do it yourself. It's it's a, you've been lied to, to by your scholars. One moment. You've been lied to by your scholars. If the only difference is yeah. fine. Yeah. yeah. The one with with a dot, okay, with dots like under the like B and C in, in the yep, of Arabic, yep, yep, yep. Okay. And ones that, they are not. Yeah. Because the original Arabs, they didn't need it. They could have read the full script yep. without yep. the need of all yep. that stuff. Yep. Because and they understand the full meaning. Yep. Because it's their main language. Thank you. But afterwards, right. they started to put these. So, small allow me to come. Allow me to come back meaning. to the point I was making. Yeah. Because this is but, not a, a conversation. But, but it's not from no, I'm sorry. I just don't believe you. I just don't believe you. I know. I just don't believe, believe you. That's a thing. Look. If you are believing, I but, believe so believe let's come back. Let's come. Let's no. Because hold on. The phone. No. No. Wait. 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 Guys, guys, let's have a conversation. We don't need to let's agree. Have, let's, you let's have a conversation. You. The phone book has never been changed. It doesn't mean that it's true. Mein Kampf has never been changed. It doesn't mean that it's true. Um, the, 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 the Tolkien's Lord of the Rings has never been changed. It doesn't make it true. The, the so, no, so, so what we've got, coming back to the question of Ishmael, 
Okay. Your earliest material, which is the Quran, which yes. predates all your Hadith literature, yeah. Yeah. never mentions right, the that Ishmael uh, hadith, hadith is the son at the same time. of the hadith, sacrifice. Hadith at the same no, that's time. just what you say. No, no, no. just a minute. No, no your Hadith if it was Gaza, later. If it was Gaza, it's yeah. by Bukhari, that doesn't mean he made it up. Oh, but hold on one second. I'm not saying he made it up. So what do you mean? I'm what saying you he say? just compiled what others what? made up. It's what Adam made up? No, 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 no yes, no, what no, others no, made up. No, no. Look, yeah. have you have you have you like, have you studied the way Al Bukhari right. compiled all this stuff up? Can you show me a hadith yeah. that says that Ishmael is the son that was sacrificed? Why should I show you that? Because that's the topic of conversation. Okay, but wh why? Like, why should I? Okay, like, put that it's out? important. Because the Quran. Okay. Is that I get to well, that your end point. You want to say Ismail is uh, like it wasn't mentioned. Okay, what's your benefit? So which which? We celebrate Eid. Uh, so he's not happy. No, no, no! Don't listen to what he says Eid. about me. Ask me about what I am. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, what's what's don't listen to this guy. Oh, he's just here to cause trouble. He's just here. He's just here to try and start an argument. Who celebrates Eid? Who? There we go. Jewish people celebrate So he's he's trying to just start an argument. We celebrate Eid. Them. Right. So Here's why it's important. That's yeah. Why it's important. Yeah. Because yes, because the Quran, which which surah was it? Thirty four. So, which surah was it? Thirty four. The story of Abraham. Safat. Safat. There we go. Thirty four. One hundred and four to one hundred and ten. So here, Muhammad, or the author of the Quran, whoever that is. He's borrowing a. He's borrowing a. He's borrowing a. I'll stop you here. It's from Allah. No, no, it, it, that's your claim. No, no, that's not a claim. No, 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 it's not a claim. That's a claim. That's a claim. He never even said he's the author. No, 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 it's not an author. For the sake of argument, let's just say Allah. For the sake of argument. For the sake of argument. Allah is borrowing a story here. Allah? That Allah, is God. Allah, is, Allah is the creator. invention creator. of Muhammad. That's, that's a creator. Allah no, is a creator. no, Allah is the invention of creator. Muhammad. That's, that's why Aisha said, that's why Aisha said, Allah is quick to fulfill your wishes, O Muhammad. You see, Muhammad was the god of Allah. Allah did whatever Muhammad wanted. Anyway, coming back to this. Coming back to this. The Quran is borrowing a story it doesn't understand. And I'm going to show you why, right? Allah is the only one you worship, right? Yes. Allah is the only one you should give any sacrifice to, correct? Yes. Allah is the only one that you owe anything to in terms of ransom, yes? Right. Now read the story carefully. Shall we just step over here a bit, away from the noise? Yeah, let's step over here a bit, away from the noise. Like, I appreciate I appreciate the tone and the attitude with which you're coming into this conversation. I really do. Thank you very much. So listen to this story and work it through with me. We called out to him, O Abraham. Who's the we there? We called the we. Who's the we? Allah. Allah. Thou hast already fulfilled the vision. Thus indeed do we reward those who do right. Who's the we? Do we? Allah. Allah. Okay. For this was obviously a trial, and we ransomed him with a momentous sacrifice. Who's the we? And we. Who's the we here? We, which, and we. Is... You answered them. Allah. Allah. Right. Who does who does Allah sacrifice to? Allah sacrificed him? Yeah. What do you mean by Allah sacrificed him? No, no, he said, no, no, it's not like this. It's it says, we ransomed him with a momentum sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. So who does Allah owe a ransom to? No. And who is like, the sacrifice that Allah ransomed to? Abraham. Yeah? For a sacrifice. Right. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't say Abraham, does it? It says we. Him. No, no, we ransomed him. We, Allah, ransomed uh, Abraham. Ransomed from who? From the butcher, his son, he sacrifices his own son. Yeah, but uh, do you know what a ransom is? Ransom, I, I'm reading in the... Like the one you use for like... Does the word ransom... Do you guys know Arabic? Yes. yes. Right? The co what, what, what is the Arabic? That's been translated by a Muslim scholar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, What's the word for ransom in Arabic? Fidya. Fidya. And is that what appears in the Arabic? And what is well, it's not the same, like it's, Does it say it's ransom? Like, you know, it's it's ransom, is yeah. different than Is it the word ransom? It's, it is, but like right. it's not... It's it's what, what's, like, a, what's a ransom? A ransom is used like in a hostage situation. 
Yeah. yeah. So, so work that example out. We've got a hostage situation. Yeah, but like, it's different. That is the thing. In Arabic, this is different. Yeah. Like when so, so Arabic, ransom doesn't mean ransom in Arabic. It, it's, it does it's, represent a different from yeah, the different way. The like, but then you know, with a pen azim, like so, it's just like so of, it's, of, instead of, of, instead of, of you sacrificing your son, we ordered you to sacrifice a yeah. big man. So he gave him a choice, and it was a trial. The yeah. whole story. Yeah, I know the whole story is a trial. Yeah. But the point is, yeah. Allah is saying we ransom yeah. with a great sacrifice, right? He's not saying we gave to Abraham to sacrifice. He's saying we ransom with a momentous sacrifice, which begs two questions. One, who is Allah ransoming to? And who is Allah sacrificing to? No, no, to? it's not. Allah is ransoming yeah. to no, 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 no. Okay, by the way, this is a mistake. Uh, I think it's maybe a mistake in the, the Quran. English translation. No, 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 English no, 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 translation. translation. So it's a mistake in the no, translation. In the Arabic, the Do you want to pull up other translations? Just a minute. No, no, just a minute. I, like, I care about the, like, the Arabic version. Yes. The Arabic version doesn't make sense. Like, they say that. But you said the word was ransom. Just a minute. It is ransom. It's in it a is ransom. Way. In a so that is. In a different way. It's like. Go on, instead, give us a different instead, idea instead of, of what you, ransom means. Instead of you, okay, sacrificing your son. Okay, we gave you the opportunity to sacrifice a, like a lamb. That's, that's not a ransom, okay. that's a choice. That's a choice. Okay, it's that's, not a choice. It's not a choice. So it's not a choice. Like, it's, not, like, it's not like, it's not, it doesn't mean a choice. A replacement. Yeah. yeah. Like you can say it's anything. Like, you can, yeah. A replacement or anything, you can say that. Yeah. But it's not, a, like, the first, first thing, God doesn't need sacrifices from us. Yeah. In that sense. Okay. Yeah. God didn't need a sacrifice from Ishmael. It was a whole thing as a trial. Yeah. From Ishmael. The Quran never says Ishmael. This way. I mean, the Quran it's never says it. The Sunnah says that, but even if the Sunnah doesn't say that, we just take it as, as it is. Even one if the Sunnah doesn't say it. No, even if that, it's one of his sons. Yeah. And we just take for it. Yeah. Now, you know, you know Muhammad used to hang around with Jews? No, in Mecca, no. No, no. when, oh, hold on one second. In yeah. Medina, Medina yes. there were Jews. But when did it start? No, hold on. It's not in Mecca. It, did Muhammad go to Medina? When? At, at the Hijra. Yes, uh, yeah. right. Were when there did Jews the, when, in Medina? When, when did the Hijra happen? Why did he choose Medina? Right. Were there Jews when, in Medina? No, no. When did the Hijra happen? No, hold on one second, bro. All I said was when? Muhammad hanged around with Jews. But when? But that's not the point. It is the point. No, you don't no. even. What's the point it, I'm going to make by that? Just a minute. What's the point I, I'm I, going I, to I make really by that? Your point now. What's my point? But you're going to say that he, because he hanged out with, with Jews, he knew about their stories and they used them. Yes. Well, no. That is the it. The revelation of Islam started in Mecca. Before the Hijra, yes. Way along with before the Hijra, and there was no Jews in Mecca. No, one second. You've got you've got this wrong entirely. Yeah. Muhammad was a tradesman for his first Not wife Khadija. Were for him his Damascus. first wife Khadija, and there were Jews in Damascus. No, there were Christians. And there were Damascus. Christians also in Damascus, yes. and there were Jews around the Middle East, and there were Christians around the Middle East, yes. and Christians also knew this story. So Muhammad is taking a story okay, that he doesn't story. understand. No, 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 okay, just a minute. No, no, this is this is now the funny part. Who, 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 who ever told me yeah. that Islam contradicts? Okay. Sorry. Who, the, who told me that Islam? Okay. The, the, like, it doesn't say that we respect Christianity and Judaism as religions. I it's haven't same. even raised that point. Just a minute. That's no, not no, a point that's a I've raised. We, 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 we do have we have similar we have similarities. We have similar stories. We have similar perceptions. Yeah. That's the thing. So it's not, it's not a big issue. If you, even if you have it in, in the Bible, you, 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 that's it doesn't mean that we do yeah. not have it. Yeah. Even, hold on, even hold on, even on one second. You're getting excited. You know You're getting excited. You're getting excited. The story is the, yeah. the Israelites. Okay. Right. The Old Testament. Come, come, let's, we can read it. Let, let's and come. We can read it. Let, let's yeah. come to. Yeah. Let's yeah. come. Yeah. Let's come to. The reason why it's important who was sacrificed. Yes. It was because the sacrifice was connected to the covenant. Yes. Right. In, in Christianity, we believe that the sacrifice that Abraham made of Isaac that was then substituted by a lamb is pointing towards the fact that Jesus Christ is the sacrifice for the world. Now, let me explain how we figure this out. Because the lamb that Abraham sacrificed represents Jesus Christ. Isaac, in this story, represents humanity or those that are within the covenant those that are within the covenant that God has given to Israel and the church and Abraham in this story represents the judgment of God 
because we have sinned against God. Right. What do you sin against God? We've sinned against when? the glory of when? God. When? Because we lie. Okay. Because we hate. Okay. All human because beings. we sp all human all beings. beings. You, From you, the start. me. Are, 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 are children sinners? Are children sinners? No, of course not. Are children? It says, it says they are sinners. No, show me, show me, show me where it says that. No, no, no. You've made a claim. Show me. No, hold on. One second. You have made a claim that is a lie by your Muslim teachers. Your Muslim teachers have lied to you. I have lied. They've been, you've been like a lie. Show me where it says. Show me. Show me where it says in the Bible that children are sinners. And hadith are copied from Quran Bible. What did you say? They are not talking about where it talks about children being sinners. What the Bible actually teaches, and I'll tell you what it teaches while you look up the Bible verses, is it teaches that all human which, beings which are born, of of, of all of them, all of them, no, they are all of them. You, you see, that's another lie you've been told in the it's, mosque. No, it's not a lie. That's that another lie you've been told no, in the mosque. Are corrupt. Your hadiths are different. Most Your hadiths are contradict. Corrupt. No, no. Shia Muslims and Sunni Muslims can't agree upon which hadiths to believe or to use. No, it's different. To That's true. No, that is true. No, no. That is true. No, we Muslim agree. scholars we can't agree which hadiths are sahih. They argue amongst themselves about what's sahih and what's not sahih. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. No, no you don't. Different Muslim scholars like Al Tabani give different gradings to other Muslim scholars like Ibn Kathim. Yeah, no, but we know which are like true hadith, we know which are made up hadith, we know that. No, you don't know. How You've been you know? told no, that. No, we've not been told, we know. Yes, you have. No. Who no, told you, know you that? No, Who told Islam, you that? Islam, the scholars. No. No, the scholars Islam, told you that. But you should think as well. Like in Islam, you have a room to think. Where does the Quran... have a room to, to, Yeah, go on. ...to understand, you have a room to decide. Yes. In Islam, like we're not taught everything by school reading. Well, hold on we one second. We are taught the headlines and then we decide what to follow. Right, we and that's a problem. What to, no, it's not a problem. That's a problem. Right. Yes. Yeah, let's come to the it. The Bible teaches the that we are all born sinners who are sinful. No, Selfish natures, unless we are born so again by the Spirit of God, so where's the Bible we will verse? never see the kingdom of God. John 3.3. Let, let, let's look at this. John 3.3. John 3.3. John 3, 3. Yeah. Right. The Gospel of John is going to say that babies are sinners. No, not sinners. All born sinners. Ah, right. Let's, we are born sinners. Right, but the, are, you, are you born as an adult? I, 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 I want to have a polite conversation okay, with I'm, you, I'm saying, but if you insist on interrupting me, I'll start doing the same back okay, and then you will get upset. All right, go on. So no, let's no, no, have a civil I, I, conversation. I let's have a civil well, conversation. Let's have a civil conversation. This is what it says, mm. right? Verse 3. I'll read from verse one. Yeah. Now there was from verse chapter three. Are you sure it's chapter? Yeah. Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man, listen, listen. Are you listening? A rabbi. We know that you come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, so we're in verse 4 now, we've not seen any statement that children are sinners. How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born, can he? Jesus answered, Truly, I say to you, that unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, you hear the sound of it, you do not know where it comes from and where it is going. I've not read anything yet that says that children are sinners. Okay, okay. Right, uh, want to okay. find again, want to try again. But let me let me you come back to you. No, no, no. I'm going to come back to you now. No, no. I'm going to come back to you now. No, I'm going to come back to you now. The the reality is, your Muslim scholars have lied to you about what the Bible teaches. What the Bible actually teaches. What the Bible actually teaches is that human nature is sinful. Now, what does that mean? It means, as you just read from the phone, that we're born with a selfish nature. Now, when a child is selfish, it can't hurt anyone. It's not culpable of an actual sin because it doesn't understand the consequences of its own selfishness. 
But that same selfishness you see in a toddler who demands that you stop whatever you're doing to service its needs right now is the same selfishness that means that people betray you in work, that people betray you in your community, that people take advantage of you. It is rooted in the nature and that is what the Bible teaches. It teaches we're born with a sinful nature, not that we're born guilty of sin. That's an entirely different okay, thing. You just don't understand what the Bible okay, teaches. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Now, well, when it says coming back to Genesis. One, one minute. I, yeah. need, I need to say something now. Yeah. When we said we are all born sinners. Yes. Okay. Yes. What does it mean? So, I've literally just in the last few minutes it's just the explained you just say that to the you. No, no. Look, I literally just explained it to you, but I'll explain it to you again. Moment. No, you've asked me no, 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 no. what does moment, it mean, moment. so I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so you're going to tell me what? My no, beliefs. No, no, Go no, on, try. That's you funny. Said, you said the nature. I'm saying a person can have a sinful nature, but he said you are not all born with a sinful, sinful nature. Wait, you wait, are wait. all born sinners. No, I didn't say that. No, you, no, you I said that. Yeah, and you're wrong. But it says you are all born sinners. Show me, show me. Show me the Bible verse, not which, some, which, which not some. This is, this is from any Bible teaches the same things as okay, what I've just described. Bible. Okay. Any Bible. This is biblical, uh, biblical answers, by the way. Right. Okay. Yes. Yes. So that, that, like, that's not it, it, it's a one. human being trying to give their best understanding exactly. of the Bible, exactly. and they can be wrong. Agreed. They, can be wrong. they are wrong. You can be wrong as well. If they say, you can be if wrong. they one say, moment, like you can be wrong. yes, of course. You're, you're so, so the thing is, you need to do more research. But coming no, back, I don't have to do coming back to the story of Genesis, because you keep running away from this. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. You keep you running are, away no, from this story. You are, you are, you are yeah. I was wanted to talk about Genesis okay. and about the story of Abraham right. and the reason why it's important, because. The story in the, of Abraham's sacrifice is a representation of what Christ does for us. This is your faith. Yes, this is our faith. But yeah. your Quran talks about sacrifice and ransom that Allah does, which makes no sense at all. Yeah. Because Allah is borrowing a story that he doesn't understand the origins of or the purpose of. And in the Quran, it okay. says. No, no, no. That's what it, that's what it, in the Quran, it says. It says the pagans around Muhammad said. The pagans around Muhammad said. We've heard all these stories before. From where? Exactly. The Quran says that the pagans had heard the stories of Muhammad so before. Okay. If they say multiple places so, so that these so are fables of old. Listen, We've heard these the stories that's before. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the. Muhammad was taking stories he didn't that's understand that's and so putting them in the Quran. Jesus was taking stories from the Jews as well. The Jesus, Jesus was, was a Jew. Jew. Same here. So the thing, Muhammad the was not a Jew. No, 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 no. Muhammad Abraham was not a Jew. Like, like, the religion is all one. The religion is all from Ibrahim. Ibrahim was Muslim and all of the, the prophets after him have the same ideas. Yeah. Okay, so Ibrahim is like Jew, is like is, like, is like what, Jesus, is like us. All look, of us have the same, the same idea. It's the same story with you guys and Jews. Jews no. doesn't believe that Jesus is, is a prophet or a god anyway. Mm. Okay, just a minute. It's, it's not the same just belief. A no, it's the same it's thing. not the same Jews belief. doesn't believe that Jesus is, is a god They don't or a believe prophet. Muhammad's a prophet. It's okay, but also you don't believe that Muhammad. Here's, Everyone, here's the thing. But you believe the New that Testament, the Testament, the one more, the New Testament was written by Jews, not by Gentiles. This one is a moment. Jewish document. One moment. The one New moment. Testament is a Jewish yeah. one document. Moment. One moment. One moment. And that's what you don't okay. get. One moment. One moment. It's a Jewish document. Just one moment. Okay, so every religion doesn't believe in the religion that comes after, nor the prophets. Jew okay. Jews doesn't believe, doesn't believe, don't believe yeah. in Jesus. Yeah. Jesus uh, and Christians don't believe in Muhammad. Yeah. While uh, Christians believe in Moses. Yeah. Okay. And Muslims believe in Muhammad, uh, in Jesus and Moses. Yeah. So it's always, always been the same story. Yeah. We are not in a conflict here. Even if we have similar stories, I don't think we stole it, stole it from you. Well, but the like, thing is, it's not the same. But the thing, it is. It is. Are you guys needing to go? Yeah, yeah, we have. We have a okay, what I, want, what I want to leave you with, guys, yes. right? And it's a shame that you wouldn't let me show you where the story was stolen from. I'm, I'm happily, but I happily, I'm happily what, take a What's important, it. what's I'm important really. is that the son, read this chapter from your photo, yeah. the son of the covenant is Isaac. And if you look at the Quran carefully, the Quran says that the prophethood was given to Israel, not to Arabs. Hello. Prophethood was given to Israel. That's what your it's Quran says. No, 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 it's for everyone. No. It's not for Israel only. 
No, that's what your you Quran says. You're arguing with your Quran. You're arguing with your Quran. You're arguing with your Quran. No, I'm not arguing. It's written in the Bible yes. that there is another prophet is coming after Jesus. No, wait, where? Muhammad. Show me. Where does it say that? Because that's another that. lie. No, it's not You've a been lie. lied to by the mosque. Exactly. There's nowhere in the Bible no, 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 where it says that. Guys, you, you know, I mean, yeah. I know we got a little bit heated, but you were very no, friendly yeah, I, and no, amicable. No, look, look, I, I do, I do like. Do you guys have a Bible? No, no, I do you actually, have a Bible. No, I'd like to give you one as a sure. gift. Yeah, let me give you a gift, just to show that you know there's no hard feelings, Absolutely not. and no, that I appreciate I'm not, your time. I'm happy to read about anything, to be honest. Look, we're yeah. not that thing. Is but English like, your first language? No, Arabic is. Okay, Arabic is your first language. Here, there you go. No, you have Arabic one? There you go. Oh, I do not have an Arabic Bible. No, have a read of that. If you ever come again, write down your toughest questions and come back and give me your toughest questions. Sure thing, sure thing. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Thank okay. You. Thank you, guys. So what we saw, what we saw is that we, we, we saw what we Christians need to learn from. Okay. Learn that, that any Muslim is willing to stand up firmly to defend their faith. Yeah. Christians, are you willing to do the same? Do you know the Christian faith to stand up for your faith as you should? The reality is yeah. that Muslims today are celebrating a feast yeah. called Eid al Adha. And that feast yeah. is a feast that they have copied from the Jews based on a story that the Quran has taken from, from the, the Jews, Jews that they don't understand. Okay. Their Quran says yeah. that Allah provided a ransom and a sacrifice. But to who did he ransom? To who did he sacrifice? It makes no sense for Allah to speak like that. Why does Allah speak like that? Because he's borrowing a story from the Jews. He's borrowing the story of Abraham and Isaac. And Abraham and Isaac show that God always intended to introduce the sacrificial system. Right. Abraham was provided with a sacrifice yeah. to ransom Isaac, yeah. showing that God was always going to establish a sacrificial system in the temple. Yeah. And then the Jews yeah. continue to practice sacrifices. Why? Why? Because without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. For why? why must life be given for redemption? Why? Because God created you and you owe God your life. Yeah. And because you haven't given God your life, yeah. life is demanded as sacrifice, as ransom for the debt that you owe to God. That's right. Oh. So, yeah. these sacrifices in the temple yeah. are the sacrifices that Jesus gives. It says in Hebrews chapter 10, verses 14. Let me just get it up for you guys. From verse 11 to 14, every, every priest stands daily ministering and offering time after time the same sacrifice that can never take away sins. But we, but he, sorry, but he, having offered one sacrifice, for sins for all time. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ is what gives the sacrifices of the temple their merit because they are foreshadows of Christ's sacrifice on the cross. Sat down at the right hand of God waiting for that time until his enemies are made a footstool for his feet. For by one offering he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified. Amen. In other words, we Christians are saved and being saved. We are saved once and for all because what our Christ has done for us, but we are being made worthy of that salvation daily by the work of the Holy Spirit who calls us from one holiness to another holiness and the Holy Spirit also testifies to us in the Old Testament and it gives a quote from the ancient scriptures showing that there is a continuation of sacrificial belief in the 
religion of Abraham, the religion of Moses, and the religion of Jesus. But the religion of Muhammad does not have this concept of sacrifice. But they have the story in their Quran, a story that they don't understand. They are celebrating a feast today in imitation of a religion that their religion does not copy or believe. But they tell you that the religion of Abraham, Moses and Jesus and Muhammad was the same. But it clearly was not the same. Because Abraham sacrificed for the redemption of Isaac. Moses commanded the priests to sacrifice for the redemption of Israel. And Jesus sacrificed for the redemption of the world. But Muhammad never sacrificed any animal by, as a priest for any kind of redemption of the Muslim Ummah. In other words, the religion of Abraham, the religion of Moses, and the religion of Jesus is the same. But the religion of Muhammad is a different religion. Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any questions? So salvation before Jesus came. When Jesus died upon a cross, his soul descended unto the dead so that I, he might preach the good news to the souls in Hades. The merits of the sacrificial system in the Jewish temple, the first and the second, received their merits from the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Because it says Christ in Hebrews 10, 14, that the sacrifice of Jesus was for the sin of all time. All time means all time. It means the time in the past, the time in the present, and the time in the future. The sacrificial system of the temple was pointing in foreshadow to the sacrifice of, a, to the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Right. The sacrifice of Abraham, the lamb that he sacrificed to redeem Isaac, was a foreshadow of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Our salvation comes through the sacrificial work of Jesus Christ alone. Past, present and future. Any other questions? Is it biblical to say that Jesus descended to uh, Hades? Yes, the Bible teaches in the epistles of Peter that the soul of Christ descended to Hades to preach the gospel to the souls in Hades. That is what the Bible teaches. Any other questions? Any other questions? Going once. So what are the dangers of following Muhammad versus following the teachings of Christ? If you follow Muhammad, the yeah. danger is yeah. that you will find yourself outside of the salvation offered to you by God. The Muslims accuse Allah of changing his mind, of founding a religion of sacrifice with Abraham, of founding a religion of sacrifice with Moses, of founding a religion of sacrifice with Jesus, but then with Muhammad changing his mind and throwing away the idea of sacrifice. The Muslims will tell you that all the prophets followed the same religion, but the evidence shows that they don't. Abraham sacrificed, Moses sacrificed, Jesus Christ sacrificed, Muhammad sacrificed nothing for redemption, nothing for salvation. Ladies and gentlemen, any more questions? Yeah. I'll just repeat the question. Go on, what's the question? What's the question? 
quiet. Hurry up, bro. You're annoying now notice the anti-semitic slur talking about the goyim this man uses an anti-semitic slur and we won't be covering up his face an anti-semitic slur talking about goyim this kind of bigotry and prejudice must be fought against the reality is that the New Testament is a Jewish document. It is a Jewish document that predates the Talmud. It is a Jewish document that predates the Quran. It is a Jewish document that predates the Quran and it is talking about a Jewish religion. The Paul did not see himself as founding a new religion or converting to a new religion. He saw himself as a Jew living in the fulfillment of his Jewish religion. Any more questions, ladies and gentlemen? Any more questions? Going once, going twice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. looks like we've got a bit of a fight starting over there. If there are no more questions, I'm going to take a pause. Thank you very much for your time. God bless. Thank you,